Well, happy Wednesday. I hope you had a wonderful day. And as we look at EMEPA Live Radar, there is some rain on the radar, but it's just not in our area. The rain you see across the northern tier of the state around Tupelo and just east of Memphis is affiliated with an upper level disturbance that has slid from let's say across the Mississippi River and once it moved into our area, it just kind of fizzled out. So I guess we didn't have enough moisture in place to sustain any rain. So we didn't luck out on any rain for, to, for today. And as you see, we're looking dry. So if you have any late night plans, the weather looks good, but we haven't had any consecutive rain or we had, should I say, we have had six consecutive days without any rain. Our last day of rainfall was September 14th and we only picked up a little more than a tenth of an inch of rain and for the month we don't even even have an inch yet. So even the rain that we have had thus far has been very minimal. So again, our ground is dry. So heading into our Thursday, it's going to be dry Friday looking dry even as we kick off the beginning of fall on Saturday. But on Sunday, some isolated showers start working back into the area. And then by Monday, we could catch a few additional showers as another upper level disturbance is going to slide by. But that one should be able to uh, tap into some moisture and give us a better chance for some wet weather. So we're looking ahead to next Next week to hopefully get some needed rainfall. But as far as the tropics, well, We've only had 14 named systems, and I say only because we have so much more to go that could possibly go higher. So we've had 14 named systems. Of those, six became hurricanes, and we've had three major hurricanes, and that's typically an average season. But again, we have two, a little more than two more months left of hurricane season. And as you look at the forecast from both NOAA and Colorado State, they're forecasting an above average season for sure. And again, with two more months left, that only makes sense. So here we are. Again, we're past the peak of hurricane hurricane season, which is right around September 10th. But again, we still have a long way to go. So again, hopefully you'll stay up to date with Storm Team 11 for any updates regarding any tropical activity. But thankfully, we don't have anything threatening us in the short term. Now, as far as the US, though, there is a disturbance that could develop over the next few days off the coast, the southeast coast of the US for now has a moderate chance for development. Eventually, it's going to turn into possibly a subtropical low and then maybe even a tropical system, but it's going to make its way more north. So it's something for the East Coast to really watch because again, that could bring some impacts down the line. Now, as far as what's happening off the coast of Africa, we have a disturbance that has a better chance for development over the next seven days. So we'll definitely keep an eye on this one as well. And then, of course, we do have one actual tropical cyclone out there. This is Hurricane Nigel. It is still holding on, but it is being battered by some strong upper level winds. Winds right now sustained at about 90 miles per hour and moving northeast at 25 miles per hour and eventually over over the next few days, it is going to phase out, lose its tropical characteristics. But thankfully, that system has stayed to itself in the Atlantic and it is not going to bother any land masses. So the next name up is Ophelia. And then from there, we're looking at Philippe. But again, we've had quite a few tropical cyclones this season thus far. As far as temperatures right now, it's 70 in Meridian, 73 for Livingston, 74 for Philadelphia. It feels good out there. It's going to feel even better by the time you kick off the day tomorrow, especially if you have an early start. We're expecting overnight lows to bottom out into the low 60s. That's going to be pleasant. For your Thursday, highs around 90, so similar to what we had for today, maybe a little smidge cooler, but we're going to have a mix of sun and clouds. And as far as that 10-day forecast of 10, which is sponsored by Meridian Mutual, it is looking pretty much the same each and every day. But at least we do have a new season, which begins on Saturday. And then next week, we do introduce again a few additional showers, especially Monday and Tuesday. And temperatures next week will be seasonable as well as we should be in the upper 80s this time of year. So yeah, not much rain, not much but rain. if you're looking for nice outdoor days to do some outdoor things, then you're loving that 10-day forecast.